again. Uh, today I want to share some of the problems I had with this 32-bit microcontroller of the STM32 series. I want to go from 8-bit, uh, the 8-bit processor to 32-bit. Now, I gotta say, I tried this processor a few months back, and I found it daunting incredibly. Um, e -E blog, um, he had a, a program on there with different um, IDEs and things, and over an hour, you know, he was doing it ad lib, and he ran into a bunch of hurdles and what have you. I, I tried a little bit. But, I mean, it was just incredible. And um, I bumped into IDE with, for Arduino, so I thought I'd give it a try. But there were, there were problems. I got it to run. Let's see if it runs before I talk too much. Um, one of the problems I had is after I downloaded it and ran it after watching like 15 different examples on YouTube, it would come out with exec being armed on EABI G++ file does not exist and it wouldn't work. So I'm going to share this. I'm not taking credit uh, for all of this. This guy here, this guy here has the best, in my opinion, um, presentation of this. So there's a Vietnamese guy that uh, explains it even better in Vietnamese. But even if you do it like this guy tells you here, this. Wouldn't it be great to program one of these STM? There's really no instructions. Like this guy so here. I thought I'd share and contribute to the community. It still comes out with an error. Um, so, and let's see the Vietnamese guy, if I can show you the link, because it really helped me. A lot. Let's see if I we go down here. This guy in Vietnamese, he was very good too. Um, but it's, it's you know it's in Vietnamese, and he shows you he takes steps further. To show even more you know to um, update files and things so let's see if it's working um the pro the program well let's first let, let me see if it if it uh if it uploads now what it is is just to blink your led to show that this program is running right now it is compiling and it does take it a bit of a t of a while takes it a little bit of time uh, there it goes it seems to be running there it'll backtrack a little bit and, and uh, go forth again now it's almost finished compiling it needs to upload it up com port 7 okay and there we go. We have it blinking. I think the camera lights are a little bit. Can I turn them off all the time? No. So it's blinking and it's working. Um, for the examples, I will show you. This is this is the program that was modified. The examples are an STM 32 digital blink. Okay, this is what you would have downloaded. See here, PB1. PB1 is not the pin this LED is on, it is on PC13. So you have to add, um, you know, you have to modify that this, you know, example file we got for there and this guy shows you this guy shows you that uh, well it would be this guy 
He found it. He gets the credit. Arduino IDE through the serial. So, another thing, it is quite complicated, but the answer, the answer was uh, on this website, uh, Roger Clock Melbourne's Dart uh, or slash Arduino STM32. The answer was there, and uh, the problem is that you have to uh, install Arduino Zero or it will find, uh, you know, that's the only board apparently that has the, the G++ file. So it was hard to find because nowhere on the internet does it tell you about, you have to install an unrelated board to get your STM32 to run. I'll leave a link for this installation guide here and you can watch the other hundred videos but it won't work unless you have installed this Arduino Zero and I'll show you where, where how to install it. You go to, you go to, um, where, where's the board manager? Holy cow. You have to to go through the board manager here board manager and here you install the one for zero it says here covers board arduino uno playground express uh robo motor somewhere there is the arduino a uh, zero and uh, I think it'd be here. Well, you have to find it. If, if any case, you can, uh, you know, it's there. The Arduino Duo, here it is. Arduino, Arduino Genuino Zero. Arduino for slash Genuino, you know, genu Genuine Zero. You have to upload this board or your STM thing will not work in Arduino. I will tell you, I spent a long time looking at that error. And it's not on any of the examples, not the Vietnamese, not the other guy, not anybody. Not the guy with the fancy boards. They don't mention this. So, and you have to change the pin to the pin where the LED is. Or is that on where your example has it? So one last thing to get it to run, and, and you will see this on the internet too, but um, you have to drop, um, you know, let me see, desktop. You download the uh, Arduino, you, you download the Arduino STM master thing. And after you open it, you got to drop all these files. Well, you know, drop just this, but don't drop the whole directory like this. Open the in, I mean, drop the inner one, not the whole, not the whole directory, just this one, the inner one, because otherwise I don't think it'll find it. I think I had that problem. Um, and you drop that thing in, uh, Program files, the Arduino hardware. Let me see, let me sort this by type. And you see it there, Arduino STM Master. And then from there you can do do your drivers, window drivers, and uh, install all the drivers. And allow the drivers to to to, to load and everything. Um, before you can uh, you can run this thing it's asking now for another driver so there's three main things uh, to get this to work you know without headaches or you know waste a few hours on your weekend 
And that is uh, get that Arduino Zero uh, board installed so it can, it can have those things. And um, I will post this, this installation guide here. Um, so you can so you can see it here's the, the you know the main instructions the rest of the stuff you know you can watch 15 20 different or 500 different videos on how to run it but they never run because nobody tells you you gotta have that uh, zero board and uh, download it so I hope I was helpful um, uh, and uh, I'm surely happy that this thing is running. But next, I want to do it on Eclipse. I want to, I want to build the Eclipse IDE. I already started on it, and hopefully it works. So I can just do it in, in C instead of Arduino C. I think Arduino is a form of C. So for now, I'm happy that you know I made a little bit of progress. And probably pretty soon after I get this ICSP working, I will probably start switching over to this tiny little 32-bit controller. Enjoy a beautiful day. Over and out. Bye.